you guys while I'm here doing this vlog um, I do want to go ahead and just give you guys a little bit details of who I am what do I do um, and I just started my business not too long ago I have I'm going to turn 10 months in a couple of days of running my business so it has been growing extremely quickly you guys i've never thought that i can have or i could ever push to myself to where I, I am now um the power of believing is great you guys so believe believe in yourself believe in the higher power good things do happen guys i was gonna try to record but the usps is Super busy, but I'm okay. Excuse me, I'm just setting this up there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I can do it, you sure? Oh, see, see Mark, make the dream work. So I tried to record as much as I could, and as you can see, they were busy. So those how that's how my USPS drops go. Now I need to hurry up, go pick up my son. All right, you guys, so I just picked up my son from school, and we are heading home. Boss Mom was not my first business venture. That was actually maybe like my number five because i first started with amazon fba um if you guys don't know what amazon fba is is basically um you being the distributor for whatever you're selling and you ba basically send your products to the amazon warehouse third party sellers so you send them the, your merchandise um that you're planning on sell through the Amazon platform and Amazon basically ships package um, and all that I mean it goes into way more detailed you can't just ship it and everything it goes way into detail I did try to do that if you have heard of Amazon FBA my personal experience I did try two products um, and quickly found out and realized that Amazon is in control one of my products my first products it was doing so good i was able to rank it to the first page and then i got a lot of people hijacking my listing basically stole my product information my product pictures my product my listing my whole amazon listing they basically sold it and whoever was selling or whoever was buying my product they actually were shipping there. So they were the ones that were collecting. There was the one that were shipping their their products. Um, and as a seller, it kind of got frustrating because FB, um, Amazon really does not help. Um, I just had to take it on, on my hands and I had to basically write them like a trademark infringement letter um, just to scare them away so they can, um, so they can stop hijacking my listing so that happened um i did i was able to go ahead and redeem myself but it kept on happening a lot there were people that would say hey that's a good product that you had chose but dang they were stealing all my stuff like they were stealing all of my stuff and not just that but guys i was started getting bad reviews and that's where it was just like you know um i don't know what they're sending um whatever i have listed on my product page apparently was not what they were sending they were sending something with bad quality and with amazon there was nothing that you could have done for those reviews so it just got so complicated you guys um i did give it another try and i did another product and it just it just didn't i didn't lose whoa <laughs> so i didn't lose money when i was doing amazon fba i basically just made my money back so everything that i invested um i did make it back after doing that amazon fba for my second products um i did start learning about drop shipping um drop shipping if you are not familiar with drop shipping um 
similar to Amazon where they ship and package and handle all of that good stuff most people do it from aliexpress and that's the way that i've tried it i did it the whole drop full-on drop shipping using obello um if you have dipped your toes into drop shipping you 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 will know what i'm talking about um so i did it through Ali, aliexpress with obello i did my whole website i did your typical little gadget store um I ran that store for a good six months. So yeah, you guys, that store was just bleeding me so much money. Um, I knew from the beginning with my first drop shipping store that I went with the mindset of not making money just to learn. Um, again, I've never did any mentor any coaching no courses so i knew from the get-go me trying to make a business it's gonna be expensive because it's gonna be lessons that i'm gonna be learning a couple of months i shut it down through the whole time that i was doing that drop shipping store i learned so much um i learned what was email marketing i learned what was pinterest ads i learned about facebook and instagram ads i learned how to do ads i learned how to read um analytics on google analytics how to read my facebook analytics so as i was um putting my time and effort to for this store i also was learning along the way still binging on youtube videos uh reading up on blogs listening to podcasts um during this time frame i did start um to start thinking okay this is not working out for me i'm losing too much money i was maybe already two thousand dollars down the hole with like two sales and i was like yeah this is just not um it's it's not gonna cut it for me um so that's when i decided to go ahead and open my new store which i'm currently doing so that's why what my idea number was five four um so i opened up my new t-shirt shop and i actually launched it with teesprings um just to see if that was something that could give momentum something that i can grow into if you're not familiar with what teespring is teespring is more of a print on demand model for drop shipping uh, they will ship it out they will do the whole customer service they, they would do the whole thing there's multiple companies that do that um teespring is one of them and that's the one who i chose to go with with the experience that i had from that first store that i made i was already comfortable to work with shopify so i'm like you know what let me just go ahead and make my own store and that's what i did i went ahead and i did my own store the thing i learned from my first store i actually implemented it to this one i, I already knew what email marketing was by that time i already knew um how to use facebook ads by that time how to use pinterest ads actually i actually started learning pinterest uh, pinterest ads with my new store so i opened up my store in january um with teespring and i saw sales come in um after the fifth sale I, without spending any marketing i'm like you know what screw this let me go ahead and do my own store so i started it in january 18 and when i knew that it was going to be good it was that same day you guys i kid you not i launched my store and that same day before the day was over i got a sale um so that's when i was like man this is awesome this is this is this is good i have something good um i started doing heavily instagram um what i mean heavily uh, manually me um posting using hashtags everything again everything that i learned from my first store i implemented it to, to this one um i had learned how to use or how to grow your instagram within my first store so everything that i knew from there i took it and i put it on my new one I believe I started Instagram and Facebook ads in February. So with my with this store, I knew I was gonna spend cash and I knew I was gonna go ahead and invest for marketing simply because I wanted to get the ball rolling. Um, and I knew I had something good going because if I was already getting sales without marketing, imagine with me, if I, with the marketing, if I start implementing, um, how, how, why not? so i started marketing 
Um, I started marketing and within not even 200 bucks not even with 200 bucks guys i was already making sales left and right left and right um if i get a chance i'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of february and that was what my first month and if not February, March, I don't remember because I'm not currently looking at the numbers. But I know for March, for sure, I made at least $10,000 in revenue, you guys. So I was like, man, that's some good money. Um, so I actually started getting my inventory from my local print shop. It was great. The only thing was the delivery time. They were taking a little bit longer than what I expected. Um, so I took the initiative and I'm like, you know what? What the hell? Let me learn how to do it. Let me see if I could do it. I have the time. So the doer that I am, I said, hey, let me learn. I binged on YouTube, figured it out how to do it. Um, a lot of people were very helpful to me i was straight honest with them and i'm like hey you know i'm just a regular mom but i want to do screen printing i want to do it myself in the comfort of my home um one for me to cut the cost from my local print shop because uh they were pri way pricier than what i expected um and that just cut on my profit cut on the marketing and cut on the money that i can invest back into my business so i said you know what the heck let me learn i messed up so many t-shirts but again those were lessons that I, I i needed to learn i needed to understand how that worked um one thing that i have learned through my whole journey is that you never stop learning. Everything is a curveball. But if you're willing to learn, it's going to go well. You're going to do good. As long as you keep on learning, you will be fine. Invested in all the equipment, um, everything that needed to be done for me to a screen print at home. And I would say within two weeks, everything paid for itself. Everything paid for itself. Um, it's a lot of work that I have to put on myself, dedicate a lot of time. But it's, it's so much it's so nice working for yourself and knowing that you're your own boss nobody could boss you around nobody could tell you nothing so now we are here 10 months later business is booming thank god i reached over a hundred thousand dollars worth in revenue keep in mind that is not full profit when people say revenue they just means that's the money they have collected um for sales everything that you have sold that is the amount that i have gotten and reached and we have passed over one hundred thousand dollars worth in sales um you also have to consider marketing you also have to consider the product you also have to consider so many other things that fall into those numbers but for me to reach that far and grow a company that far in such a quick time who would have thought that's a six-figure business within 10 months from someone that did not know nothing so if i can you can as well so yeah guys if you're still watching thank you so much i hope i did not bore you um thank you very much for sticking by please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and let me know in the comments what you guys think um give me ideas on what i can record um i just wanted you guys to get to know me a little bit i know this is a little quick video um, but it just gives you a little detail to my background and it gets to know you or you get to know me a little bit um, don't forget to go like my Instagram. You can always meet, reach me on my Instagram is the boss underscore mom. And if you ever have a question, please feel free to message me, send me a DM. I remember feeling that no one wanted to help me. And that's the reason why I want to help because not a lot of people help in this world, especially when it comes to things like marketing or watching you grow there's so many people that just don't want to see you grow and why not like why not like we can all strive this world is big enough for all of us so thank you again you guys i can keep on going but don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment any questions you guys may have 
thank you again for watching and i hope you have a good one happy fourth quarter if you are selling i hope your sales multiply and i hope you have a great one take care